Hello, in this video we're going to go over a Putnam problem regarding evaluation of a sum. So they gave us a sum and they are asking us to find a formula for this sum. So the very first thing that I did was I plugged in different values of n and I'm going to copy paste my work here because I don't want to uh, spend time evaluating this. So I evaluated this sum for different values of n. The first term is x, the second term is minus x minus 1. Taking the difference we get 1 n equals 2 gives you 2, n equals 3 gives you 6, n equals 4 gives you 24. After I got to this point, I suspected that the answer would have to be n factorial. Okay, but how do we prove this one? So what I thought was, there were, uh, the first thought that I had was, perhaps I can expand this um, polynomial, the x minus k to the power of n, and then look at the coefficients. I was able to find the first coefficient. So if you look at the very first coefficient, the leading coefficient, you get the sum negative 1 to the power of k and choose k. That's the leading coefficient. And this one is k equals 0 to n. This one is 1 minus 1 to the power of n, which is 0 by binomial formula. However, when I got to the next coefficient and next coefficient, things got a little bit more complicated. So if you, if you look at the next coefficient, you get negative 1 to the power of k n choose k, coefficient of x to the power of n minus 1, and then you would get n choose 1 times negative k, k equals 0 to n. So, in fact, you need to find negative 1 to the power of k, k times, or negative k times n choose k, k equals 0 to n. So this is the sum that you need to evaluate. This can be done, evaluation of this uh, sum can be done. And I'm going to actually post a link to a video that I will work on this sum and evaluate this sum and similar sums for you. But it gets more complicated as you proceed to the next power of negative k. So the next one would give you um, negative k to the power of 2 instead of negative k here. I thought this was in fact possible to get to a solution but I decided that maybe this is not a very good way of writing down a solution. So instead, I thought maybe we could use induction on n. So let's see how uh, we would apply induction, employ induction in this case, and evaluate this sum. Okay. Let Pn to be the sum k equals 0 to n, negative 1 to the power of k, n choose k, x minus k to the power of n. So that's the sum that they gave us. We claim pn of x is equal to n factorial and we will prove this by induction. On n. So basis step is pretty straightforward. p1 of x is equal to, if you plug in n equals 1, you get negative 1 to the power of 0, 1 choose 0, x minus 0 to the power of 1, plus negative 1 to the power of 1, 1 choose 1, x minus 1 to the power of 1. And this is the first term is x minus x minus 1, which is 1, which is 1 factorial. So that's the basis step. Now we'll look at the inductive step. So we're going to look at p sub n plus 1. p sub n plus 1 is going to be equal to the sum k equals 0 to n plus 1, negative 1 to the power of k, n plus 1 choose k, x minus k to the power of n plus 1. And I want to relate this with the previous polynomial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Take this one and break it up into two different sums. So if you rewrite the power of x minus k, k equals 0 to n plus 1, we get n plus 1 choose k, x minus k to the power of n. So I'm going to multiply that once by x and once by negative k. So negative 1 to the power of k, n plus 1 choose k, x minus k to the power of n times k, k equals 1 to n plus 1. 
because for k equals 0, the term is in fact 0 because it's multiplied by k. So I can ignore that. Now this x can be taken out. And I'm hoping that I can evaluate these two sums separately. So let's evaluate the first sum. The sum k equals 0 to n plus 1 of negative 1 to the power of k, n plus 1 choose k, x minus k to the power of n is equal to. So I'm going to use um, the Pascal's identity. k equals 0 to n plus 1, negative 1 to the power of k. I'll replace n plus 1 choose k by n choose k plus n choose k minus 1 that is the famous Pascal's identity x minus k to the power of n here we get two different sums the first sum is negative 1 to the power of k n choose k x minus k to the power of n and the second sum is negative 1 to the power of k n choose k minus 1 x minus k to the power of n the first one k goes from 0 to n because for n plus 1 n choose n plus 1 is 0 so we can ignore that and the second one goes from 1 to n plus 1 okay so the first sum is exactly pn of x in order to understand the second sum I'm gonna change k to k minus 1 so that it goes from 0 to n and this becomes negative 1 to the power of k plus 1 so I'm changing the variable k, the dummy variable k, to uh, from z 1 to n plus 1 to 0 to n. So that would give me, exponent would give me k plus 1. That would be n choose k. I have to replace k by k plus 1 to the power of n. So this is what we get. So if you replace k equals 0, here you get 1. And if you replace k equals 1, here also you get 1. Okay. Now, if you think about this one, the first term is Pn of x. If I factor out a negative sign, I would get the sum k equals 0 to n, negative 1 to the power of k, n choose k, x minus 1 minus k to the power of n. Okay, so this is Pn of k minus. The second term, this is just Pn of x minus 1. This is just Pn of x minus 1 which is zero by inductive hypothesis because inductive hypothesis told us both of those two are n factorial so the difference is zero so now i will have to look at the second sum so the second sum is the sum k equals let me go back and find the second sum this is the second sum k equals one to n plus one one to n plus one negative one to the power of k n plus 1 choose k times k times x minus k to the power of n. Now, this is equal to n plus 1 choose k times k can be written as n plus 1 factorial times k divided by k factorial n plus 1 minus k factorial x minus k to the power of n, k equals 1 to n plus 1, which is equal to sum k equals 1 to n plus 1, negative 1 to the power of k, n plus 1 factorial over k minus 1 factorial times n plus 1 minus k factorial, x minus k to the power of n. Okay, so now if you factor n plus 1, you would get the sum k equals 1 to n plus 1, negative 1 to the power of k, and that would give you n choose k minus 1 times x minus k to the power of n. And if you change again the dummy variable from 1 to n plus 1 to 0 to n, every k must be replaced by k plus 1. So this would become n choose k and this would become minus k minus 1 instead of minus k and this is exactly minus if you take out one of the exponents of negative 1 n plus 1 and this is pn of x minus 1 which by inductive hypothesis it is n factorial 
by inductive hypothesis. Okay, so if we take that and plug it into the into what we had, therefore Pn plus 1 of x is equal to minus, and this is what I'm using here. So let me call this a star, minus minus n plus 1 factorial, which is n plus 1 factorial by star. And this completes the proof. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel where I do problems like this. And I will post some of the problems on the screen. So please check out. I will see you in the next video.